Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Martin Odegaard EAFC Team of the Week player review. 88 rated central midfielder, um, 5 foot 10, high medium work rate, 5 star skill moves, only 2 star weak foot which is absolutely criminal. Uh, left foot control explosive on the acceleration type. I can't believe they haven't increased that skill, uh, sorry the weak foot there. CM or CAM, I'll probably go up for a cam to be honest looking at those stats, the defence is not great. Um, 74 pace um, with 76 acceleration 73 sprint speed 83 shooting which is nice only the penalties really that are letting him down and again i don't really understand that one either because he has been on penalty duty for arsenal every now and then 89 on the passing and that's just i mean ridiculous every single stat there is insane and same with the dribbling 88 dribbling really really solid um yeah i mean 83 balance being the lowest is just outstanding only 69 defending which is why i'd opt to play him as a cam rather than a cm to be honest and only 65 physical also sort of goes into my thinking as well only 57 strength which is very low 82 stamina low it is a little bit of an increase on his gold card not much to be honest but it is still uh, a little bit of one let's get into the in-game all right, so we got Odegaard playing as a right attacking midfielder. Um, so I'd like to put him on the right attacking mid if you've got the option, um, because he is a left footer um, and his weak foot is not the best. So with his left foot towards goal, I feel like actually scoring goals, he'll have more chance if he's sitting on the right attacking midfield side. Um, so fingers crossed that actually works. In <laughs> in my mind, it does. That was pretty poor from him, unfortunately. Although he did get the ball in quite a tight area. In my mind, it will work. Um, but let's see how that actually happens. I have used his gold card, so it will. Come Kind of be in my mind to compare the gold card with the team of the week card as well to see if it is worth the upgrade i didn't mind his gold card it wasn't fantastic um and i i think uh, i thought to myself at the time if he does get a couple of upgrades this card could be really good um because his passing was solid um and, and it's just like the pace and the shooting was a little bit lack uh, that was offside it was a good pass um it would have been nice if if beto had held his run um but unfortunately it wasn't to be but yeah as, as i was just saying i think that with some upgrades he would have been good um, so hopefully this will be the start of him looking like an improvement that was a really really good hold um, from Ortega very rare that that happens to me still haven't managed to get myself a, a normal goalkeeper um, better than Ortega unfortunately um, but yeah, I mean, we've got Odegaard running through the middle there. That always seems to happen. That's a good pass again. He's got that play style, so his passing should be good. Is this going to be an assist? Not quite. It should have been if Beto had managed to get that in the back of the net. That would have been a nice assist. Um, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't go down as an assist for Odegaard. But it will. It is a big uh, chance created. He's getting himself into some good positions. Here he is again, right in the middle there. Um, exactly where you're wanting your attacking mid. To be fair, I shouldn't have played that pass the, the Strikers were heavily uh, heavily defended there, so there was no hope really of that getting through. Um, so I don't really blame him there. Free kick I'll take all day long, so I didn't actually see how that even happened. Um, there's Odegaard again. He, he seems to be really, really good at getting into positions. That's a great pass. Again, very, very close to an assist. Another big chance created. Maybe not so much as the first one um, due to the fact that the defender was right there. So it would have been very difficult for Nkuku to manage to get the goal there. But again, he is getting himself into some great positions, making some great passes. And to be honest, that's all that you can really ask for um, from a central attacking midfielder other than managing to get some Oh, what a header that was other than managing to get a goal um, or, an or an assist just yet um, he's doing everything right oh another good save this guy is all over oh I thought we gave a penalty there wouldn't have surprised me they give penalties for anything on this game um, but yeah he was all over me there so I'm glad that that uh, ended up being maybe offside or a foul I don't really know what that was uh, Odegaard's playing a bit wide there um, oof look at that I mean eye of the needle stuff that was getting it through to Thomas Partey um, I, I don't know I didn't mean to I don't think pass that like that because it was completely heavily marked but it did technically still get through to Partey just you know once, he, once the ball was with him it was just a, a silly pass to make but the actual pass did to come off um so it just shows that his passing is fantastic um we go we just want to get him into the game as much as possible you can see he's like going back and forward quite a bit that was silly from me really I should, again I, wrong wrong pass there um i shouldn't have tried to make that pass um and yeah and now it's put us into a little bit of danger odegaard didn't really seem to <laughs> want to be getting involved with the defending there he was just sort of sitting at the edge um, watching what was going on I don't know why I've been put there um, to be honest but uh, as long as it's not a red and it's not a penalty I don't really mind too much um, 
yeah, you can see Odi, he's just, he is literally playing on the right attacking mid exactly where you put him. I played a 4 2 2 2, um, and he's playing on that right hand side of the of the attacking mid. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's coming in a little bit as well. You can see him in the middle there. He's kind of adopting a more of a CDM position there. Um, but we go 1 0 down, unfortunately. I mean, he doesn't seem, he gets himself back, but he doesn't seem to actually want to do anything once he does get back, um, which is a bit, of, a bit of a shame. That's probably not the best thing. I'd rather him just stay forward if he's not going to do anything while he is defending um, because then for the counter he would be there to make a really really good pass to one of the strikers but it doesn't seem like that I mean he's playing very deep here even um, and I've actually had to go back to him but that is a phenomenal pass split the defense it's open this has got to be a goal I'm sorry I'm taking that all day long I don't care that it was an absolute his take of a goal i'm taking that all day long so let's get back into the actual in-game uh, stats and we'll compare them to how he felt in the actual gameplay that we've just seen there and the other games that i used him in all right so i mean odegaard what, what can we say about him he's just what you would expect um to be honest it didn't feel like much of an upgrade on his gold card it was an upgrade um, but not much of one so let's go through the pace so 74 pace probably feels about right he didn't feel rapid he felt quite quick here and there um but i guess that is what 74 is it's, it's sort of average so yeah 74 feels about right for a cam 83 shooting you know what i didn't really have many opportunities to actually get into goal scoring op uh, positions with him so i'm going to leave it at 83 i did with his gold card get chances so i'd would say that your shooting probably is better than 83 but for me in the games that i played 83 feels fair 89 passing actually feels a little bit low really really unreal passing 90 we're going to bring it up to that big 90 for me that's a big difference i don't know why it's only one notch but 89 to 90 for me feels different um 88 dribbling again really really solid yes um i'm not going to increase it though i think 88 feels about right he's not getting the 89 at 90 for me as far as dribbling goes but still really Really, really solid in the dribbling department 62 defending not too shabby um, I mean I didn't notice that he did anything defensively to be honest 62 is fine for a cam I wouldn't play him as a CM um, I say, stated that at the start of the video would not be playing him as a CM I think that he needs to be in a cam because of that uh, the attacking stats the passing the dribbling the shooting the pace all lend themselves to be a more of a cam and his defending does not lend itself to being a CDM oh sorry just a CM definitely not a CDM and in 65 physical again I, for me I, I can't increase it um, it did feel a little bit low he did in some tight angles feel like he probably could have done a little bit better sometimes he got the passes away really nicely but sometimes I think the strength just didn't really show very well at all so I mean we've increased a few stats on there he's an upgrade on the gold card for sure is he enough of an upgrade as in terms of coins for me the two star weak foot should be a three star there's certain stats on there that I think need to be increased a little bit more and uh, yeah so for me I would stick with his gold even though this is a slight upgrade if the difference in coins is not a lot to you, get this card because it is better so hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC 24 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.